Oh, disc brake noise and squeal can be so annoying. But in this video, I'm going to diagnose what it might be causing that noise and also help you fix it. It's hard to believe that only five or six years ago, most pro bikes were rim brakes. In fact, I only actually raced for one season on a disc brake bike. But still, I am a fan of disc brakes. I've got to admit it, for bigger riders like myself, that increase in stopping power is just marvelous. And especially in the wet, you really do notice it. And actually that season I did on disc brakes, I went back to rim brakes the year after, just that's how things went. And um, I did miss these, but still, <laughs> they can be a real pain when they're squealing. Let's be honest, there's more maintenance involved in disc brakes. And if you are experiencing a lot of squealing and noise from your disc brakes, please don't fear because there are ways to identify that and where that noise is coming from. I'm gonna help you with that in this video and also show you how to stop it. So to begin with, you need to get your bike clean, give it a good old wash, wash your rotors and your discs, get all that grit and grime out before you then assess the issue. If you're hearing a sound like this, this is most probably because your rotor is not aligned properly with your pads. Now, this is a relatively easy fix. So all you need to do is loosen um, your caliper here via these two bolts, loosen it off, give it a little wobble, that often helps as well. Then pull the brake, tighten that, so then that will realign your caliper with your rotor, then re-tighten these bolts before letting go of your brake. Now, it could also be the case that the rotor is slightly bent. Now, in this case, if it's just a little bit bent, you can often bend it back. Park tool, have this tool, which is brilliant for this job. You can simply find where it is bent and then you use your tool to bend the rotor back so that it is straight again. If you're hearing a really kind of grainy, grinding sound, then this is probably because you've worn out your disc pads. Now, this is something you really want to avoid doing because if you wear them out too much, what happens is it's metal on metal, metal on those disc rotors and you're gonna damage your rotor. And instead of just having to replace your pads, you'll also have to replace your rotor too, which is quite a costly thing to do. So pay attention to this. Now a sign that this is the case is if your lever pull is feeling longer than usual and also you're getting that kind of metallic grinding sound. So this is what a, a new disc pad looks like. And when, you've, when it's worn to the bone, you're pretty much just getting onto the metal that holds that pad in place. So definitely keep an eye on those pads and make sure you replace them before it gets too late. Now, replacing your disc pads is a relatively straightforward process. We've covered it on the channel before. And if you want a bit of help with that, please do check out the video. It's in the link in the description below. That'll give you an easy hand to get those pads out and get new ones back in. Yeah. Perhaps the most dreaded sound of all when it comes to your disc brakes is that like screaming, screeching, real high pitched, high frequency noise that makes everyone jump all around you. No one wants that. It sounds a bit like this. Oh. <sighs> yeah, you see what I mean? Now, if you're hearing that, most probably it's the case that your pads are contaminated. Um, but before we get into how to clean contaminated pads, it's also worth bearing in mind if you're hearing this when you're heading out on a bike for the first time, if you've got brand new rotors, brand new pads, you do need to do a bedding in process. So you need to brake about 10 times on each rotor. So I like to do it on the front brake first and the back brake. Essentially you want to get yourself up to about 30 kilometers an hour, slow yourself down with that rotor um, without coming to a complete stop. Um, and then do it again 10 times over. That helps to bed in those pads. It will improve the performance of your disc brakes over the long term and it will stop that squeaking to begin with. If you think the noise is a result of your disc pads being contaminated, this is quite a common, common issue um, and it's mainly caused by lubricants, frame cleaners, just general grit and grime from the road getting up, getting on your rotors, getting on your pads and contaminating them. I find especially on a really rainy ride, um, especially when it's been dry for a long period and then it rains, 
so much oil and dust and dirt on the road and that just gets straight washed up onto your bike. If you're not descending for long enough, you're not getting the rotors to a high enough temperature to burn that contaminant off and it gets stuck on your pads and it causes that noise. Um, if this is the case, have no fear, it's time to get uh, involving some sandpaper, clean those pads and also some isopropyl alcohol to clean them too. Now Alex has done a real deep dive into the process of this and how to do it. Again, you can find the link in the description below if you really want to know how to do this properly. Um, so check that video out before you go any further. If you've tried cleaning contaminants off and it's still not working for you, you're still getting that squealing, then it's time to replace your pads. So replace them, but before you do, make sure that you clean your rotors properly to avoid transferring any contaminants that are on your rotor straight onto those new pads. So I did have a chat with our resident super mechanic in the workshop, Adam. He came up with a really good tip actually when you do this. So give it a clean as usual, but also make sure that you sand paper, the, uh, the rotors in a perpendicular direction, which makes it much easier for the pads to bite onto the rotors. Another more extreme fix for getting contaminants off the rotors and even the pads actually, is to use heat or fire to burn them off. Now, I've never personally tried this myself, but looking at the comments under Alex's last video on this topic, it did seem to work for a few of you. So this involves isopropyl alcohol and then burning off the contaminants over a, a gas hob, for instance, or, or maybe a burner. But please, please, please be careful when you're doing this. Please don't start any house fires and obviously use caution. But that is an extreme method which could potentially work. But there you go, a few things that you can think about and that hopefully will help you sort any squealing that you may have from your disc brakes. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've got any other tips or tricks that you like to use. Thanks for watching, as usual. See you on the next video.